Hey, what is up, guys? My name is Achena. Welcome to episode 10, the 10th wonderful episode, glorious episode of game programming. So, yesterday we drew a pixel to the screen right here. And um, what, I wanted to, what I'm going to do today is actually show you guys how to amend a problem. So, um, we have this pixel and we could change coordinates, you know, live uh, to say, I don't know, 100. And you can see that it draws the new one, but the old one still remains in the actual, on the actual screen. It doesn't get erased. And the reason for that being is this black background that you see isn't really like a black solid. What it actually is, is just a void. It's an empty space that we haven't actually filled with anything. Now that's a problem because what happens is when we move something, it kind of doesn't work that way, all right? We can't just simply reposition something or animate something and then expect the old part to go away. What we actually need to do is clear the screen every time we update our, our, our screen, our image. Now to demonstrate this further, what I could do is actually animate the position of the pixels. So right now I'm just gonna quickly, and I'll, I'll erase this code in a second, but I can make it a variable called time, set it equal to zero, and then uh, say that, um, <clears throat> Okay, you don't need to take this code down. I'm literally just using it um, just to just to show you guys what an animation would look like. So Oops. All right. So if I animate something like along the lines of this, you can actually see that it's going down right now across the screen, but obviously it's not getting it's not getting removed and it will crash eventually when it goes off the screen. But we'll talk about that in another episode. And uh, I'll make this time as well. So we get a nice diagonal line. So yeah, you can see right now it's going diagonally across the screen, but the old position isn't getting removed. We're animating, but we're, we're, we're actually leaving a trail. And that's because we're not erasing the screen. So that's what we're gonna do today. We're actually gonna learn about how, how we can clear the screen. So the way we can do that is very simple. I'm just gonna make a new method in this screen class called uh, clear. So public void clear. And inside this method, remember this is in the screen class, all we need to do is create a for loop that will cycle through every pixel in our pixel array and just set it to black, set it to zero. So for in i equals zero, i is less than pixels.length, so again, that will make sure that this for loop, i++, plus um, plus, pixels.length will make sure that, that this for loop will actually cycle through every one of our elements in our pixel integer array. And we're just gonna set pixels i equals zero. So again, these three lines of code, well, this one line of this for loop will set every pixel in our pixel array to black, to zero. So now that we've uh, created this in the screen class, we actually need to run it. So back in our game class, I'm gonna, go, I'm gonna scroll down to our render method. And in this render method, before we render the screen, make sure you don't do it after, um, we're just gonna call screen.clear. So what it's gonna do, every time it comes up here, it clears the screen, and then it renders our image on top of that clear screen. Not the other way around. If we did it this way, what would happen is it would, it would actually render the image and then clear it and then show it. So we'd just get a black screen. So make sure that it's here because remember it is doing it in chronological order. We want it to clear the screen because what will happen is we render an image onto the screen. We, get, we show it, we go to the bottom, we, we go back to the top because it's in a loop, right? In this while running loop. We go back to the top, that, that image is still there. And then if this wasn't there, we'd render it again on top of the old image. But this way, the old image gets to the bottom, the old image is still going up, the old image gets cleared, and then we're rendering onto a fresh canvas. So that's what happens. So now, if I actually just run it, you'll see that that one pixel now is traveling with no residue, with, not, with nothing behind it, because it's, uh, it's simply just traveling to the, bottom, to the bottom of the screen. And if I um, set this back to what it was, just so you can see the vertical movement. Uh, um, you can see that it's simply traveling across the, uh, across the screen. I actually like the diagonal more. <clears throat> so yeah, there it is. That one pixel is now traveling across our image 
and across our canvas and it's fine. The other problem is we actually crash when we get to the bottom because it uh, generates an array index out of bounds exception. Now, what is an array index out of bounds exception? You'll find that out tomorrow. Later, guys.